In triangle ABC, AB is equal to 16.2, BC is equal to 12.3, and angle BAC is equal to 37 degrees. And then we're trying to find out the two possible sizes of angle ACB and the corresponding lengths of AC. Okay, so the question asks us to find two possible angles of ACB. In other words, this angle here, with these three measurements remaining the same, this angle that we have here, angle C, can have two possible values. So how is that possible? So if I draw a line from point B to line AC, such that this length is also 12.3, now we have two triangles with these possible dimensions. So I'll highlight the first one in blue. So this is the original triangle that we had. The second triangle, which has the exact same dimensions as what we have here, I'll highlight in orange. So the two possible triangles would be this one here in orange, and then this one here in blue. Those are two possible triangles with those dimensions. So I'm going to call this point C as well. I'll call this orange C, and then this will be blue C. Okay, and then we're trying to work out angle ACB, so this angle here for the blue triangle, and then this angle here for the orange triangle. So let's start with the blue triangle. We know that this angle is opposite to this side, and this side is opposite to this angle, so our sine rule then becomes sine C divided by 16.2 is equal to sine 37, all over 12.3. We can rearrange. Sine C is then equal to 16.2 sine 37 all divided by 12.3. The right hand side becomes 0 0.7926. C is inverse sine of that number which is 52.43. So this equation we used from the blue triangle and the dimensions that we have in the blue triangle. Have a look at the orange triangle. Notice that this angle is opposite 16.2, just like we had in the blue triangle, and that this side 37 is opposite the 12.3. And that's exactly the same in the blue triangle as well. So this equation, to work out the angle C, is exactly the same in both the orange triangle and the blue triangle. So then how can we tell which triangle this angle belongs to? Well, the easiest way, first of all, is to look at the diagram and notice that this is an acute angle, this is an obtuse angle. So the 52.43, as it is an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, it must go here. And then how can we work out what the orange angle would be? The easiest way, without any explanation as to how we would do this, is just to do 180 minus the angle. So I'll just work it out first, and then I'll show you two ways why this would be true. So if I did 180 minus the 52.43, that will give me the orange angle, which is 127.57. So why is this the case? Why is that angle there 127.57? So the triangle that we have here is an isosceles triangle. These two sides are the same length. They're both 12.3. So that would mean that this angle over here is also 52.43. And then because angles on a straight line add up to make 180, then this angle plus this one should be 180. You do 180 minus the angle that we have here to end up with the 127.57. So that's one way of explaining how we ended up with the 127.57. Another way is by using the sine graph. So remember to work out this angle here, we did inverse sine of 0 0.7926. Let's draw out a quick sketch of a sine graph. So, very quick sketch. Here is a sine graph. This is one, this is minus one. Sine C is equal to approximately 0 0.8. So that's about here somewhere. I'll just write that as 0 0.8. And then we see, if we go across, we have two solutions between zero and 180. One of them, is the 52.43 that we got straight from the calculator. And the other one, this angle here, will be 180 minus 52.43. If this angle of 52 is 52 away from zero, 
it should also be 52 away from 180 because of the symmetry of this curve. So that angle would then be 180 minus 52, which would be the, the 127. So we can just draw that on here. This angle would be 127.57. So those are two ways in which you can work out the angles of ACB. Now we can go to the second part of the question, which is to work out the corresponding lengths of AC. So let's start off with the blue triangle. So we want to work out this whole length here at the bottom. The easiest way that we can do that is to use the sine rule again, but to work out that side, we have to have this angle up here. So to work out this angle, considering just the blue triangle, we have 37 on the left, we have 52.43 on the right, all the angles in that triangle would add to make 180. So if I do 180 minus the two circled angles, 180 minus 37 and minus 52.43, I end up with 90.57, which is over here. And now I can use the sine rule. So the side that we're trying to work out, AC, divide that by the sine of the angle opposite, the 90.57, Set that equal to, I'll use this angle side pairing, 37 and 12.3. So 12.3 all over sine 37. AC is then 12.3 sine 90.57 all divided by sine 37. And that gives us 20.43. Okay, so that's blue AC. Now for orange AC, we can do the same kind of thing. We have to work out what this angle here is though. That's what's opposite the side AC, the orange length AC. So then we can again use the orange triangle. Angles in that triangle add to make 180. So do 180 minus the 37 and the 127.57, which gives us 15.43. That's the angle that we have here. So then AC divided by the sine of the angle that's, that it's opposite to, 15.43, is equal to, I'll use this angle side pairing, 12.3 over sine 37. Rearrange, AC is then 12.3 sine 15.43 all over sine 37 and that gives 5.43. So those are our two answers.